Time now for the skinny. Boy, what a night it was last night. Big revelations, too, from The Sound of Music. Yeah, we had a special edition of 2020, Sound of Music, our own Diane Sawyer, recreating this iconic scene on that mountaintop. There she is. <laughs> now, would you believe, 1964, it took Julie Andrews and her crew an entire week to film that scene. They used a helicopter to do it. Diane Sawyer, her, her crew, did it in 30 minutes using a drone. Uh -huh. Man, times have changed. Also, did you know Christopher Plummer could do this? That's awesome. That's awesome. I had no idea. We also learned that both Plummer and Andrews were dealing with dissolving marriages at the time. So, were there any romantic sparks? Did you have a crush on Christopher Plummer? Who um, everyone on yeah, we sort you, of but... did. We were never an item, as they say. <laughs> but now we are the best of friends. We became the best of friends, and that's lovely. Mm. Yeah, probably because we weren't an item. We should have ended up together. We should yes. have had a huge smashing affair. So but there was no time, and Julie <laughs> had her children with her, which is most inconvenient, I thought. <laughs> She's Most inconvenient. I love that line. Should have had a smashing affair. <laughs> well, he says it so delicately. Uh, it sure does. Uh, after the movie's release in 1965, the real Maria von Trapp uh, corrected Julie Andrews' yodeling on her own show. Please don't. I just knew you were going to come out yodeling. I was, I was about to, but I withheld myself. But now you, you're kind of upping the ante. No, 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 no. I'm not yodeling. You know what? Try. That was better than the. You know what? The other one. That's why I was nervous. Today was good. Try. I'll give you credit. I can't remember how it went. Let's just go to Liza Minnelli now. Uh, <laughs> Liza Minnelli, actually, some serious news about her here. She's on The Men, did you know? Yeah, the 69-year-old Oscar, Golden Globe, Tony, Emmy, and Grammy Award-winning actress and singer has reportedly checked into a rehab facility for substance abuse. Yeah, she's been waging a decades-long battle with addiction. The Minnelli she's spokesperson so says she's making excellent progress at an undisclosed facility. So good luck to her. Mm -hmm. And up next, some secret spilling was going on on Ellen. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres had two high-octane guests on her show yesterday. She got Madonna and Justin Bieber in the same show. They played a little game of Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever had <clears throat> <laughs> sex with two different people, with more than two different people in one day. Two different people in a day, Madonna? Here's the thing. Well, what? I want it to be special for my wife. Aww. Aww, I don't buy that. I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, who knew? The game surprisingly made Beaver uh -huh. look a little bit straight laced, if you can believe that. He said he's turned over a new leaf. He's mm -hmm. 21 now, and mm -hmm. hey, a new and mature Beebs. Good luck to you, brother. Well, finally, we uh, couldn't resist sharing an image with you. I, this was not my idea. Okay. But we still wanted to show this picture. Okay. Oh, okay. Fresh off the announcement that she's retiring from the catwalk. That is supermodel Giselle Bunchen. She took to Instagram to thank her nearly four and a half million followers with a post from a sandy beach. <laughs> what, what are you looking at, Noel? What were you doing? Resolution. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our floor director disappeared for a second and was peeking at a monitor when we put that picture up. He said, just checking the resolution. Just to make sure everything's okay. Now, she had a caption that said, a kiss in your heart. It's apparently great to be Giselle. Good for her.